Hogsmeade, Hogsmeade, here I come. and effort. Pardon me, sir. Pardon me, sir. About, those about those curious demigod demi statues, statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're causing, They're causing Mr. Terrible Moon terrible, terrible distress. Ha! Ah, ah, good! That was the, that idea. Was the idea. So you so did create them. Yes, yes, I did. I did. It, was a ploy it was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf, oaf, oaf moon a taste of the grief he caused me years, years ago. ago. You are the you one, are the one who's been oafing them. I am. I am. At the request, at the request of, Mr. of Mr. Moon. I received your, I received your owl on your stationery. On your stationery. <clears throat> ah. Well, well fitting, fitting Moon would enlist a student to cowardly, too cowardly to do it himself. Oh, hasn't changed, changed a bit. Even when, we, Even when school, we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. He gave me a horrible, me a horrible thing, thing, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled, I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed, school and gone, he seemed for gone for good. Then I then started, I started him seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was, it was too, too much. much. Even, if I do Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified, he's terrified of those statues. <laughs> uh, I, know. I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. priceless. That's when I, That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't, I simply want, to didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, so I shrewdly put shrewdly a boggart in his path to learn his, to learn his greatest fear. fear. I, then I then created the demigai statues, statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were, moons were inspired, inspired to play on his name. It worked brilliantly, it worked brilliantly. Yeah. until you until started, you started, started clearing, clearing them out. Sounds as if, Sounds as if Mr. Mr. Moon deserved what he got. But perhaps, but perhaps it's, it's time you moved both moved on. Uh, <sighs> fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified, if they've terrified him, him, as you say, he may have learned, may have learned his lesson. Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. It was a class made of, was a class made of yours that you bullied. Piers Pemberton. Piers Pemberton. Oh, oh my no. no. Pigtails. 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 I don't think he likes. I don't being think cool. he likes being called. Cool. Of course he does. Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. I laughed the hardest of all. Clever, clever man. I'd no idea he was so devious. I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. 
collecting continue them, collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm going to go and pay a visit to my old friend.